Hi again YouTube. Uh, this is uh, part two of that sink change um, on my uh, travel trailer. <coughs> um, I was a little wrong. There was a few specialty tools and I did things a little bit differently than the way the camper was originally built. Um, what I did is I installed both of my sink baskets. Um, I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see down there. I don't know. Uh, you can see the drawer, and uh, if you look down in here, you can see where that kind of lines up. It's going to be an issue with my drain pipe. So, that means when you push the drawer in, I've already checked this out. When you push the drawer in, it hits the pipe, and it goes in and out. Until you hook up the other side of the sink, then the pipe doesn't move anymore. Now the drawer won't go in and out. My luck. So there is some specialty things, and every camper is a little different. You may not have any drawers under your sink like I do, but as, um, as luck would have it, I do. So this little black tick mark here, I'm going to probably take this and taper it. You can kind of see how this is how our drawer is set up here. I'm going to probably taper this off from here to this, taper it down. And I'll take this, and I'll run it all the way probably straight all the way to, to where this face piece here is and I'll probably do it nice and curve it if, I, if I'm lucky here um, but that's something I'm actually gonna do at work I'm not gonna even fool with that here at all um, reason being I have the right tools at work to do it and I'm not gonna beat my head against the wall here at home <clears throat> everybody needs to know their limitations and their level of aggravation and at home, my level of aggravation is way up here. Even though I do this for a living. So I don't have the patience at home for this stuff. So when things get a little funky, I just walk away. Good advice. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, there was some specialty tools here and some specialty planning. Um, this sink is a little bit bigger footprint, overall footprint, than my other sink. So, um, what I did is, um, you can kind of see the original dirt mark. Um, that was putty that they had under the sink. And what I did is clean that off. You can use anything you like. Plastic scraper, if your wife is a pampered chef person, which I should have thought of that at the time. Because I'll bet you 10 bucks as I have one of those here in the kitchen drawer. Yes, I'm selling Pampered Chef things now to service your RV. <laughs> I know we have one. She has a middle one. I bet you we have 30 of them in here. And now that I want one, I just can't find one. Oh, well, I give up. Normally we have like 30 of these things sitting around here. I know I have one out in the toolbox, but um, those little plastic scrapers your wife uses to scrape off the uh, stones for Pampered Chef works fine. Smooth, just pew, and that takes it off, won't damage your um, counter. Um, if you have the solid surface counters or the Corian counters, be very careful of what you use to clean off any sealant. Um, most of those are going to be mounted from the bottom of the sink, the counters anyway. So I doubt that any of you that have solid surface counters have a top mount kitchen sink and that you want to change your sink. I highly doubt it. If anybody wants to change your sink, there's somebody in my shoes with a little bit, you know, older style trailer, you know, formica, you know, not real wood laminate. So, um, anyways, what I used was a butter knife. And, again, now that I want to show you, I can't find my butter knife. Here it is. <clears throat> butter knife. What I did is I used the, um, the spine here to scrape the, the, the counter off. I just turned it over backwards like this. And, uh, bad angle with the light. 
There you go. And just kind of went along and scraped it off. Won't damage or scratch the counter, at least in my case it didn't. Um, depends on your knife as to how you're going to do this. Um, if you're not sure, plastic scraper. Go to the dollar, go to the dollar store. They're cheap. Like a buck for a pack of three. You know, cover your butt. You won't have to message me and say, you told me and you scratched my counter. I'm not fixing your counter. You're on your own. Anyways, so I've cleaned off all the putty. And uh, the bottom of the sink has the uh, mounting screws or studs. There's six of them. All the way around the sink. And uh, I went to set it in here and obviously it was bigger than the original sink. And so my other sink, they it's fit inside the original cutout here. Well, that's not going to work now. And I really didn't want to cut out my sink opening and make the sink opening bigger. Um, I'd rather have to make a smaller repair later because for whatever the reason, we go back to the original sink for some odd reason. But, uh, so what I did is set the sink in here, centered it where I wanted it, and um, I kind of marked front and side and drilled a hole through the counter. And, uh, yeah, that one was a little off. Same thing here. Same thing there. This one just felt kind of funny. It didn't really, didn't really hit really hit full counter for some reason it's just half a counter I don't know why it's it's all in how they put the studs on you see they're glued on that's how they fall the one in the middle in the front misses the counter altogether so it'll mount just like the old sink did but um, what's nice in this case is the little wing nuts that they that come with the sink when the trailer was new and the way they should be mounted is you'll have this little guy Mounted somehow under your sink through that little stud up to the counter with this little wing nut clamping it to the counter and that's it. Uh, always check the uh, exact you know what you're looking at first before you get into doing that but what's nice is I think I can just put the wing nut back on and uh, on uh, what, what we got here three, four, five, about, probably about four out of six. I'll just put the wing nut back on. And the other ones, I'll just, the other two here, I'll put these little brackets in there to clamp it in. Um, and I will use putty again around the sink base because what I noticed was water was not protruding past the putty under the counter. And I am a messy dishwasher and, um, you know, I, there was just there was nothing getting under there. So, and something else I don't know if you noticed, but I also had to notch this out. So once I got the sink in here and set it into the holes properly down onto the top countertop, took a hole saw and I drilled this out through the sink. Use the sink as my guide so it wasn't going to be off. So it's right there, right through. Okay. Now depending on your faucet. And as you can see, I have a, uh, a little more of a residential faucet. That had some uh, specialty tools. It's just a Phillips screwdriver, but, you know, there's uh, a couple things you have to take apart. Just kind of pay attention to what you're doing there when you're taking apart your faucet. Um, uh, the next video, because I tried to pick up on the last one where I left off, but apparently this is going to be a multiple step video for you. This is about 10 minutes now. Um, the next video should be the sink in, um, putty and everything, and maybe I'll, uh, put water in the sink and we'll kind of leak test it together so you can see what I'm doing. Um, one thing I do want to show you too is, um, well, I guess aside from some sawdust, um, your your sink lines here. Make sure down in there is a rubber gasket. That's my cold line. Yeah, my hot line's probably got a better, a little bit better to show you. There's a rubber gasket down in there. Make sure that is pushed down in there. And it's not missing. That can cause you some headaches uh, later. Uh, leak. Water everywhere bad. Boo hoo. Don't come crying to me.
been there, done that, wrote the book, don't come crying to me. Um, pay attention to other things. You know, if you don't know what that is, you know, hole, line, saw, 110 wire. My camper is plugged in. Okay. Bzzz. Yeah, make sure you pay attention to what's around you before you start operating. Um, the other thing is, too, uh, you can see my camper is that kind of old. I have copper gas lines. So um, be sure to uh, watch for any gas lines. Uh, gas lines, plumbing, you know, things like that. Um, uh, that'll do it for now. Uh, next video, like I said, hopefully will be the sink in and we'll be water testing it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, stick around for, I think, part three.